My project is within the scope of the Genome Denmark project and I'm focusing on the region of the HLA. Uh, this region is located in chromosome 6 and it codifies for proteins that will help our bodies to fight against uh, viruses or pathogens. The mutations in this region are very important because we hope to identify new proteins that haven't been described yet. My student Marisa is doing an excellent work in characterizing the HLA region. This region is very important because it determines how the immune system reacts to the, um, to the aggression from external agents. It's also very important because it uh, determines in case you get the transplant, whether you will react to this transplant and you will reject the, 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 new, the new organ that you get or you will live uh, normally afterwards. So what's really interesting about the Genome Demap project is not the parts of the genome that makes everyone uh, the same, but the parts that make everyone different. What I'm trying to do is look positioning this mutation into a genome and try to see if they codify for different proteins to the ones that are in the publicly available ATLEA databases. So if someone maybe not now, but maybe five years from now, go to have a transplant. That new protein will, par will be part of the test. So it will be found, it was just like, okay, you have this, ref this protein, so this organ is not for you, it's very similar, but it's not for you, this will be better for you. The HLA region represents a challenge from a technical point of view as well, because the way it works biologically is by accumulating mutations that are, uh, allow us to differentiate between individuals. But this, this uh, hypermutability of the, of the regions makes them also very difficult to characterize uh, from a technical point of view. And in order to be able to solve this puzzle, we use big supercomputers. Computerum has been a useful resource or an impressive resource to identify variation in the Danish population. It has been a unique tool to assemble the, the Danish reference genome and it has been a very useful tool also to identify variants in the HLA region which is specifically difficult to characterize. Uh, for me, having this this pilot project is uh, a privilege. Not every bioinformatics student um, has the opportunity to work in a supercomputer and have someone um, just helping them every, every step of the way. When you work with computer, it's kind of hard to go back to something less awesome than computer. There's so many great projects going on in computer because what it has to offer to researchers that yeah when thinking about my future I was just like I just want to go to some place as good as a DTUN as a place that has computer room. Computer room it's pretty much like uh, like the light that draws all this all these people together right I mean you have in a place a lot of storage and security and and a lot of uh, computational power so of course there's a lot of good researchers that would like to have that for their projects so of course uh, computer will work as a beacon for a lot of good researchers and a good good projects a year ago i was just studying and now i'm with these people in their project it's, it's just something I'm proud of myself and at the same time I'm very, very grateful.